welcome to part two of Grand Adventure from the RV Experience in Salt Lake City. Tonight, we'll check out a novel onboard RV leveling system in what may be the coolest concept travel trailer ever. So stick around. So we're at RVX, or the RV Experience, which is a brand new trade show for the RV industry that brings together RV manufacturers, equipment suppliers, and members of the media and dealers. Uh, this is taking place right here at the Salt Palace Convention Center in Salt Lake City. Uh, let's go take a look around. If you're tired of driving your rig under the cat scales at truck stops, this innovation from Keystone RV could be just the ticket. So we're in the Keystone booth and I was walking past the booth and they have this huge fifth wheel sitting here that says onboard weighing system. That got me intrigued. So I'm here with Mark Bullock, the head of engineering for Keystone. And uh, Mark, why don't you tell us all about this? Okay. Uh, well, about four years ago, uh, we decided that we wanted to provide the customer with a way to know how much his trailer weighed as he was loading it up in his driveway. And that technology does not exist in this industry today. And we've been, spent the last four years trying to get this done. So what we've got in front of us here with this screen is what, you would see, what the customer would see on a smartphone app or on a tablet. Uh, and while he's loading his trailer in his driveway, he can look and he can check to see that his axles, his hitch, and his overall weight are within range. And he can tell that they're within range just with a quick check because it's all color-coded green uh, to let the customer know that he's in the safe range. Um, the, uh, uh, we provide the customer the overall weight capacity of this trailer and then the combination of the hitch and the axles uh, are totaled here and the available cargo that the customer has is listed here. So as in this particular example right now, we've got cargo in the back. We're at about 300 pounds of available cargo. That's um, fascinating. That's yeah. absolutely fascinating. Now, uh, um, so there are sensors, I'm assuming, in the hitch pin and the axles that pick up all this? Yep, there are sensors that are within the hitch pin and the axles, like you just said. And we partnered with three prominent industry suppliers to create this project. Uh, yeah, it's a good idea. Uh, Keystone, obviously, and then ASA, they're, surprised, they're uh, supplying the interface, uh, user interface. More Ride did the hitch, and Dexter did the axles for us. Now, this is, at this point, this is primarily just proof of concept at this point, right? Yep. We were, we're here to, this year to uh, show this concept, to uh, gauge industry reaction to it, uh, customers, dealers. Uh, what we're looking to do is build momentum for this product and to get it to commercialization. Um, uh, can you demonstrate how the load would shift if we were to move various things within the trailer? Sure, we can go ahead and do that right now. John uh, is going to run back to the back here and he's going to go ahead and pull uh, a trailer, a uh, UTV trailer that we've got loaded in the back out and we can watch these numbers here move around uh, as he pulls this trailer out the back. This is uh, fascinating. Yeah. No more, uh, no more going to a cat scale. 
Yeah. And sitting in line and getting your paper and figuring out everything, you know, right when you're leaving the campsite, how you're how yep. you're loaded. Yeah. Get that. Get rid of that. Okay. So he's pulling out right now. Uh, we're going to see these numbers jumping up. We're up to 1,300 pounds, 1,700, 1,950 pounds. Uh, it does take the sensors a couple of seconds to settle down after the load sure. is removed or applied. So right now we're at about 1,900 pounds of available cargo for the customer. Everything is still green. Uh, he's still good to go. He's within all of his ranges. He's fine. Well, that's absolutely fascinating. Uh, it'll be interesting to see this come to market, hopefully. Yes, absolutely. We're anxious to get it to market. Very good. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. We've really got to hand it to New Camp, for they managed to squeeze an inside kitchen and a full wet bath with shower into this tiny and lightweight Tab 320 Sofitel teardrop trailer. But what if you could design the ultimate travel trailer? The sky's the limit. That's what KZRV did when they put together their Sonic X concept RV. We're here with Aram Koltukian, uh, the president of KZ uh, RV. Oh, yeah. And uh, nice to have you here. Thank you for having us. Thank you for coming along on Grand Adventure. Um, tell us about this Sonic X. This has me really excited. Well, you know, we had a lot of fun on this. This was one of those things that when we looked at the uh, categories for the for the show here that we're going to debut to all the people we just said um, we're going to say yes to everything so we built what we thought would be the ultimate off-road vehicle that could uh, go anywhere and take people off grid uh, for long weekends get away from the city uh, get away from the country whatever it is that you want to do we thought this coach could do it and so what does uh, no holds barred mean on this no holds barred mean we, we increase water capacity We've got uh, nine solar panels, nine lithium ion batteries, uh, twin high performance fans to keep the coach cool, solar reflective uh, roller shades, uh, ultra leather interior. We just kind of said what it's going to take to have some fun with this coach and let people go out and just have a great time. And it's got a uh, very unique skin on that. That looks like carbon fiber. Yeah, that is, a, that is real carbon fiber, uh, some of its only kind in the United States. We had it flown in from Japan, from our partner uh, out of Germany, believe it or not. And uh, it, we thought it'd be fun. It's a fantastic look. It lowers the weight so we could add on a few more batteries. Uh, we're carrying uh, up to two kayaks, up to four bike, mountain bikes up front. So uh, we needed to save the weight where we could. And uh, one thing that got me over here to talk to you guys, I think you, uh, I heard there was like a water filtration system? Yeah, there is. Uh, we actually put on a whole separate water pump um, and water filtration system where you can take a hose, run it down into a clear stream, a pond, into a bucket, you know, from the city, wherever you get your water, pump it through a filter and back into your holding tank so you can shower, um, wash your dishes, anything like that. If we can even go further with the filters uh, where you can make it potable for mini system. Well, I'm really excited about going to check this out. Should we take a walk through it? Let's take a walk through. All right. Hey, well, we're going to start out here in the uh, battery bay. Uh, we've got nine 110 watt solar panels mounted on the roof, flexible solar panels, tying down into these nine 100 amp lithium ion batteries, all controlled with a Bluetooth uh, battery management system. And uh, that's all feeding into a 2000 watt inverter. So even after a hard day of play, you're out in the woods, you don't have any power hookup, you still can play your favorite game. We got a built in 
PlayStation 4 system here in the back behind the TV. You can't get away from gaming completely sometimes. And uh, just ask my 14 or 15 year old. Uh, right behind it right over here is one of the best features is a uh, water filtration system that allows you to pull water from any source, a river, a stream, a bucket, um, pump it through a filtration system. This one's a simple five micron filtration system, but we can add whatever you want and uh, refill your dual 45 gallon holding tanks underneath the coach. So um, it really gives you a lot of versatility when it comes to uh, water management. So starting around on the back corner here, we actually built Nerf bars around the entire coach. And uh, those are all steel Nerf bars, powder coated, and we wanted to make sure that we protected the coach. If you're going to go off uh, the beaten path, uh, you want to make sure you protect the carbon fiber sidewalls. Triple tube rear bumper. And our friends at BAL built us this custom kayak rack. This kayak rack uh, not only functions as a kayak rack that'll store two kayaks, it'll also let you carry your extra wood with you, your coolers, your tool kits, anything else that you want to put back here on this rack uh, as you go camping uh, out into the woods. So. Um, up above, we have two 198-watt DV8 uh, light bars, and uh, that will really light up the front and the back of the coach. Up front here, we've got uh, two custom bike racks that swing out of the way, let you carry up to four bikes, uh, and uh, you can change wherever the angle you want to be based on your tow vehicle, so to let you get into those tight turns. Dual 30-pound propane tanks will give you enough propane uh, virtually to last for weeks and weeks running your furnace or running your refrigerator. Electric power front jack makes it real easy to hook up. And then down in the bottom four corners, we actually have four independent uh, electric stab jacks to give your coach stability once you get to where you're going. All of this is supported by, as we take a look over here, an off-road suspension. It's a torsion axle system with our off-road tires, 30-inch off-road tires, to give you up to 22 inches of ground clearance as you're heading into the woods. Right underneath here, we actually have uh, the whole front quarter panel uh, protected with a steel underbelly, so that way a skid plate, see, you can shine on the mirror, right, down, and that will let you take the hit. Full pass-through storage here in the front for your longer gear, fishing poles, anything else that you're going to put through there. But uh, it just gives you a lot of options and flexibility with a full LED light strip all the way across so you can see what you're reaching for. This is a custom torsion axle system designed by Dexter for us at, and it gives you an independent suspension that can give you 6 inches to 8 inches of travel and 30 inch off-road tires. This family's, this coach right here is really kind of designed for two people. Right beside me here, we have a Murphy bed that comes out of the wall, but when it's up out of the way, it gives you about 22% more living space. You've got a nice, comfortable, high-end luxury sofa that sits real nice after a hard day, but every little detail has been paid attention to. Even our roller shades here uh, serve a purpose. Not only do they give you privacy, but on the back of them, they're chrome-aligned, so it actually reflects the sun from coming in and keeping your coach cooler. When you look through the coach, it's a one-piece woven uh, linoleum flooring that's impervious to all kinds of dirt and oils or anything that you may track in with solid surface countertops, blue LED black lighting, um, another TV inside, you know, it's raining out, you want to come in and catch up what's going on in the news, Bluetooth radio, big huge wrap around booth dinette so if your friends are stuck in their tent they want to come in and hang out with you, maybe catch a movie, you really can't do that here where you can sit six or seven people comfortably get out of the rain. Oh yeah and a custom made two inch thick butcher block table really kind of accents the whole coach and brings everything together. Uh, so we've got a great size kitchen here you know for a small coach that gives you a lot of room we've got a lot of drawers a lot of countertop space built-in gas cooktop convection microwave because we wanted to give you the extra space down below for uh, any of your extra cooking gear or gear that you're going to take because uh, space is at a premium in a small coach like this. As we go through you'll notice a seven cubic foot uh, gas electric refrigerator with carbon fiber accents. We had to bring a little bit of that in from the outside. As we head into the bed, bathroom one of the things that you'll notice uh, as we come in here is a full glass wraparound shower gives you a nice corner and a dual level vanity so you have plenty of room for your gear, plenty of room uh, for any of your necessities as opposed to just one countertop and uh, that's not all back here in the bathroom one of the things we did is we wanted to have a nice wardrobe that uh, complemented the rest of the coach and I'll open up these doors here 
and uh, I'm kind of letting the secret out of the bag. Not only did we have a great uh, bathroom and lavatory concept, we really wanted to take it to the next level inside our closet. Not only is this a great hanging space, but we also did a built-in safe for all of your valuables when you're out kayaking or you're gone for the day uh, running the rivers. But uh, that's not all the only things that you can do. Right behind here, typically might be hidden behind your clothes, is another large storage compartment for any other large valuables. Uh, we show it here with a couple of uh, antique muskets and uh, some fishing rods. But whatever you want to put back there, whether you're a hunter, a fisherman, or you just need a place for bigger gear that you want to keep out of sight, we've got it right here in the Sonic X. Well, I'll tell you, Aaron, that was really exciting. Hey, thank you. It was fun to show it all to you. Um, so now you and I were talking, this is kind of more like a concept vehicle at the moment, right? But you plan on taking some elements from it? Absolutely. This was a concept vehicle. Uh, we had a lot of hands in here, a lot of vendor helpers uh, to design all this, but no, uh, we're really interested in the solar uh, aspects of it. We're interested in the extra water capacity, the filtration system. A lot of the things that we learned on this, we can get into fall production uh, into the regular Venture Sonic line. Well, that'll be pretty exciting. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you. Have a great day. You too. So we hope that you've enjoyed touring the RV experience with us. If you like this video, we'd love to get a thumbs up from you down below. Also down below in the lower right corner, you'll find our subscribe button. So if you're not yet a grand adventurer, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. We'd be honored if you shared the channel with your friends and family. And down below, you'll also find our comment section where we'd love to hear from you after each and every episode. We air new outdoor adventure videos each and every Wednesday. Uh, so we look forward to seeing you next week, but until then, remember life is nothing but a grand adventure. See you soon.